Welcome to The Bike Shed. My name's Brad, and today we're gonna to be talking all about the topic of tire pressure. It's a very, very commonly overlooked element within your cycling that deserves a lot more of your attention. It can add a lot of benefit to your riding, so let's get started. First things first, you need to be sure that you've got a baseline tire pressure established at the start. When looking at tire pressure, start off by looking at the tire sidewall, and this will give you these maximum and minimum values to work with. There are so many factors that affect tire pressure. There are tubeless and non-tubeless tires. There's the rider's weight, sidewall stiffness, rim width, all the factors that contribute here. It's a big can of worms, I know. However, we just want to keep it simple to start with. On a mountain bike, the general aim is to have your tire pressure about as soft as you can without feeling like it's going to bottom out on rocks and irregularities in the trail. Also, you don't want to go so low that the tire feels squirmy and wants to roll around excessively on the rim under load. That's the short version. To start with, I'll use myself as, as an example. Typically, I use a 29 inch wheel with a 2.3 inch tire set up in a tubeless format. I weigh 75 kilos and the pressures that work well for me are 19 to 22 in the front and 21 to 24 in the rear. You'll often hear people running a tiny bit more pressure in the back tire than the front. The reason for that is the rear tire has a bit more of your body weight on it typically when compared to the front wheel. Your back tire also tends to take more of a beating when you don't quite nail that sweet line on the trail, with about 20% more pressure in it as a general rule to avoid flatting when running a system with a tube. Best advice would be to use this chart in the below description as a handy guide to get started. This will give you a general recommendation based on your weight and your type of bike and your riding style. This chart is based on tubeless tires, so remember to add that 20% to those values. If in doubt, I always run a little bit firmer than I think I need because it's very easy to bleed some air out of your tires when out on the trail if you feel it's a little bit harsh or choppy. 